2023 Ford Mustang Mach-E in shadow black over black, keeping the aggressive look in the front. Very Mustang oriented for the hood, the way the grill is, LED headlamps and daytime runnings, active lower grill clearance at 5.7 inches. It's going to have the lower spoiler, keeps the downforce and the iconic pony on the grill, receiving the same stance of the Mustang with the long hood that bulges into the fender's side. So that way I can show you that front. At 4.7 cubic feet, you get the Mustang badging there. It's not only a unique look to the brand, but this is a compact SUV. So you're getting the Mustang performance, starting with these new Mustang Night Pony package. 19 inch high gloss painted black wheels. The fast back roof design is very unique because in the interior, what you're gonna see, it doesn't actually drop off. This is just more or less painted and lift it up to look like it's a slope back. So you don't lose any headspace and you barely lose any cargo. Aerodynamics is going to improve on the side. So there's no door handles. It's a push button to get inside with a little lever in the front. Now on the back, you push the button and the best part about it is you can't close it. So they keep the safety because you have to put your hand inside here. There's a little area where you could do that. So that way you can open it. So they take care of you with safety and they keep all that aerodynamic. The side view mirrors have the pony projection lamps. Sequential turn signals, LED tail lamps, the futuristic styling comes into the rear. Going inside to your cargo is gonna be cut just a tad bit. However, you can lower the cargo space almost two inches, giving us at 29.7 cubic feet, the rear bench split folds at a 60-40 split. Increasing cargo to 59.7 cubic feet with towing around 2,000 pounds and a payload around 1,000 pounds. And they back the performance with an extended range 91 kilowatt lithium ion battery pack, producing 346 horsepower and 428 pound-feet of torque. Single speed transmission. This year, the Ford Mach-E has increased range by 13 to 290 miles for the premium. Achieving 97 MPGEs on the city, 85 MPGEs on the highway with a zero to 60 on the rear wheel drive, 5.8 seconds in a quarter mile around 13.8 seconds, stopping 70 to zero under 170 feet. Ford has claimed that 61 miles can be charged in as little as 10 minutes. 10 to 80% battery charge in 45 minutes with a 150 kilowatt DC fast charger. Entering inside the Mach-E. Headroom starts at 38.8 inches. Legroom, 41.6 inches. 10-way power seat adjustments for both the passenger and driver. Heated, perforated seats with the contrast stitch. The dashboard gets the speaker design that will wrap around the front part and it dips in two with a simulated carbon fiber look that goes through the center with your seamless air vents with a 15.5 portrait style touchscreen navigation with pinch navigation. And swipe, click the home button, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Sirius XM, AM, FM, streaming, Bluetooth audio. Put it into reverse, we have full trajectory, a 360 degree reverse camera. You can change the camera icons and layouts, so it will make it a little bit easier for your reversing front and rear parking sensors. Click there so you can see the tow line up easy. Working underneath to a USB A and C port, a wireless charging pad, an area for your key fob or a his and her area for cell phones. Cup holders, you get more of the leatherette around your rotary knob. It's gonna be a little bit more sport derived. Open that up and it's a storage pocket with a 12 volt charger. Three spoke steering wheel, it's multi-function. 10.2 inch digital instrument panel screen for the driver. Standard Sync 4A built-in navigation, Ford Pass Connect, Sirius XM with 360L, FM, Media Bin, MP3 capable. Driver assistance, this you can turn on and off different features. Your vehicle settings, which is a ton of them. 
the door panel and the dash configured together. Everyday materials, but it's a little bit more soft derive and it's soft for your elbows, one touch up and down for all your windows. You're gonna hear that noise quite a bit. So just turn that off with the bang and awesome sound system and a smaller storage pocket with a beverage holder. Sitting into the back headroom at 38.2 inches, legroom 38.1 inches, which is nice to see that in a Mustang because typically you will not have that leg space. The center will get a USB-A port, C port, your air vents, storage beyond both of the front seats. The door panel gets the speaker material, soft for your elbows and pretty much everywhere to touch. One touch up and down for your windows and a long storage pocket. Sitting into the center headroom is still no issue, nor is leg space. I will be sharing feet, butt, and shoulder space because it's not so wide of a vehicle, but this is a Mustang that can fit three adults my dimensions. 346 to 480 horsepower is what you can achieve with this vehicle. And if you get the GT, you get zero to 60s or under four seconds. Either way you go, this is a fast vehicle. It feels like a Mustang inside. And the first thing that I always like to show people is that performance. Oh, bit bumpy, here we go. <laughs> and you get the futuristic exhaust that filters in through the interior, which you should. At the price point that we're at, there is a lot of competition. You can get into Mercedes, you can get into BMW, you can go into Audi but predominantly what it is going after is a Volkswagen ID4, which this is gonna blow it out of the water. Price point also is going to be more expensive. This will also go to the Tesla Model Y in which you're gonna get more range. Here we've increased 13 for the year. I just wish that the charging would decrease in the time that it takes to do overnight charging. Here we go. Just so powerful at the beginning that it kind of hurts your stomach in the sense of how much performance comes out of it. And it's not just the Mach-E, it's all of these electric variants because it has so much power underneath it. The torque is just tremendous. It just pushes you back and you just contour against the seat. Now that's gonna take me to some things I like and dislike, and that's what we're gonna start talking about. Starting off with what I like about the vehicle, they kept the styling on the exterior super aggressive for the category that it's in. However, the price escalates to a different category, meaning BMW, Mercedes, and Audi. I have it now on Whisper with the one pedal, and it feels like it's dead. Moving a little bit. One pedal isn't too bad, but it really does take away from that performance. But if you're doing it for your everyday drive, I can see it being doable. The second thing that I like is this is a Mustang that I can fit in the back and I can fit in the center. We still have cargo capacity. They even give you an extra four or five inches if you pull up that tray. So that way it's even deeper and it's not taking away from headspace, even though this has that same design for the sport back, that's all exterior elements in which polish off the Mach-E and give you optimal space in the interior. The last thing that I like about it is how playful it is. It just takes me to the first thing I dislike is everything is so much into this screen that it's playful, yes, but it can get a little bit overwhelming. Instead of going through pages, what I've done is just left it here so that way I can change the driver modes and I can also change so I can hear the exhaust filter in, even though this is not a combustion engine. But I do like to hear that because it gives me that performance drive. Taking it up onto the interstate with unbridled, here we go. <laughs> you get up to speed without any issues. The road noise filters in just a touch, but for the most part, it's pretty good because we have that sound that comes in through the speakers, so it gives it that iconic electric vibe. As for the dynamics, I mean, you can get in and out of lanes without any issues. It's a smaller vehicle and it feels very airtight. I do like how the ride is to it. It's not quite like a Mustang, but they do a good job giving you the configuration in the feel for a compact SUV. The second thing that I dislike, even if you don't engage the one pedal, it still more or less has a one pedal to it. The last thing that I dislike, for a Mustang, it feels more tech rich than performance and it's derived really because of the screen layout and even the gauge cluster the way it is. Yes, we have different driving modes and it can go fast, don't get me wrong, it just would be nicer if they configured the dash to be 
very similar to the Mustang considering the exterior has that dynamic stance to it. It's still not going to be quite as good as a Tesla with range, but the fact that we're getting near 300 miles, that is something good considering we are getting a lot of performance underneath it, and depending on the variant you choose, it can beat a Model Y. I'd like to thank Furman Ford for giving us this 2023 Ford Mach-E for our car review. If you're already a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Hawkeye community. If not, I don't know what you're waiting for. Click the next video and the subscribe button. Check out the merchandise, website, and Instagram. Leave a comment and a like.